This is Joe with That Hashtag Show, and we have some Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice spoilers for you. We all know that the Battle of Metropolis and Man of Steel will be the catalyst for Superman having to answer for his actions, but a source close to production reveals that is not the only reason the American government wants the Man of Steel. Here's your spoiler warning. Lois Lane is sent on assignment covering the Civil War in Kandak in the Middle East. For those of you not familiar with DC Comics lore, Kandak is the fictional country that is ruled by anti-hero the Black Adam, who it was announced that The Rock will be playing in the Shazam film. Anyway, Clark can't get a hold of Lois and Kandak does not allow Superman in their airspace. Lois's camp is attacked by rebels and Superman comes to the rescue, saving Lois and the soldiers she's with. This causes an international incident, which is just enough for the senator, played by Holly Hunter, to convince the American Congress that Superman represents a political liability if they continue to harbor him. Superman is then confronted by one of his biggest supporters at this point, General Swanwick, that tells him that Congress has ordered him to attend a summit in Washington, D.C. to discuss his place in the world. Superman arrives at the summit with the entire world watching. The senator accuses Superman of being dangerous and Superman explains his ideals and defends himself. Congress pushes Superman to reveal his identity and upbringing and want him to swear their allegiance to them. Superman refuses, saying he won't be a government tool. Superman then hears Batman's signal jammer, which is a setup by Lex Luthor, and Superman starts to feel weak. He loses control of his powers and the building is evacuated, but not without casualties. Now, I'm guessing here that heat vision has to be involved. Several people are injured and General Swanwick is found dead. Superman is forced to escape from the scene as the senator accuses him of being the culprit. Superman is then declared public enemy number one and Lex Luthor is informed that his kryptonite has been successful. Wow, I really like the tone of this. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below and thanks for watching. This is Joe with that hashtag show. Subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with everything trending in geek pop culture.